Hello guys, welcome to Ashley and Lancelot Show. This is going to be more of a serious topic. Uh, Boogie2988 made a video about mental illness with and having a relationship at the same time. Um, um, put this link down below. Um, you know, I also have mental illness and physical disabilities as well due to military coming out. And this is my wife. We've been married for five years together for six years. Almost six. And we'll put our input and then our uh, our uh, our struggles and everything else as well. And hopefully this video will help you out. We'll put some links down below uh, for suicide hotline. And also, there's a has as like one of the main thing for mental illness as well, I believe. But I'm gonna try. Therapist, psychiatrist. So therapist will help if you'd want to talk. My college is a different story. Uh, yeah. Um, so this didn't really happen until what? After 30 of my service. And I was on all the medication. And uh, that's when all my. Yeah. And. Mm hmm. So. Uh, so I have PTSD, cognitive uh, thinking problem. Yeah, um, I have depression, anxiety. So yeah, it's a lot of struggle. I have night terrors when I go to bed, sometimes time, but not rarely anymore. Um, yeah, so basically, um, I need to tell your story about it. I had mine in your your experience. I've been together for so long. I don't know. Was there times that you want to divorce me? Angry. Yeah. Like the time. That was an accident. I was scared right after because you would keep locking doors out for no reason. I was going to the bathroom. <laughs> and for any. Yeah. The door now because I punch, punched it because she was having an argument. I want to no, finish the argument. The side of the door. I thought it was the door now. No, it was the side of the door that went uh, There was a cut and it was big. It wasn't swollen. a cut, it was a, a well near head. There was a cut there too. The, the mm -hmm. cut. Big, swollen, welt. Yeah. That was like, and you thought, oh, yeah, so you're okay until you saw my forehead. It's like, we'll go to the hospital, hospital, roll an egg on the top of it. If you have a well, roll a, roll a raw egg I on it. I probably should have went to the hospital. Didn't. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know. That's what other... my brother did to me. My... I probably should have went to the hospital. Yeah. Um, what well, were you having sure? Go to the ER. It looks off. If you look at this, right <laughs> well, well, basically, it, it is very hard. It is uh, very, very hard to deal with uh, a person that has mental illness or uh, or certain. Uh, uh, they try to get back from the you know the, the place that they've been there for like five years or more, or it might be your childhood been traumatized, and very hard to socialize with people. Getting back into the civilian world for me. It's very hard for me to go to school most of the time because there's too many people there and I feel like people are going to come and get me. I always have my guard on. Uh, for relationship-wise, it's harder because, you know, you be with this person for the rest of your life and there are times that you think you're doing the right thing, but you don't. And a lot of times you get, you get checked by it as well. And um, it is hard. It's difficult. There's times that my wife literally had to uh, uh, give me baths. I was in so much pain. There's time that I will not eat and she has a force feed. That was fun. Force feed? Yeah. Um, but yeah. There's it, times where I had to push. Yeah. Uh, it, it is very difficult. There's um, time. <laughs> that was not as much bad as most. Than getting out of the situation. I well, I enjoyed Japan. I want to stay. Yeah. 
Yeah, speak a little bit louder, honey. Mic's over. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, it's difficult. Uh, it is. Um, it, it is like a commitment they have to make. And uh, there's a high divorce rate for military personnel as well. And I don't know what the the, the divorce rate is for people with illnesses. That's our civilian. It's the highest. Yeah, and I'm surprised that my wife still sticks with. Me. She can because stay there. It goes in one ear and goes out the other. But it, it's, it's like a commitment you gotta make. You know, you gotta make yourself. You go to the doctors, like I do, get checked up, talk to them. I'm on antidepressant right now. I don't feel any different. It takes a month for. It's been fact. it's been a month. It has not been a month. Yeah. So it hasn't. It's been a month. I, the doctor appointment was at end of November. Past December. So. Have you been taking it every day? No. <laughs> the wonder is not working. I stopped after three weeks. It's not going to work. Dr. Black days. told me not to take it. No any difference. Two to four weeks. But you know me, a lot of medication doesn't really face me at all. Ah. But yeah, but you know, we're still, you know, there are in relationship good and bad days, no matter what. There will be good, I mean, you want majority of good days and bad days. A lot of times when you have an argument. I you. Yeah, I bite her butt. And uh, <laughs> that is things that we do, do weird things. He gave me a ridgy, so a bit of shoulder. A bitter butt. Yeah, a relationship. Yeah, but you know, uh, it's one of those. Every things. relationship is. It's different. It's weird. Um, Every single relationship, awkward. Guys do. Pull out. You know, but you know, we always want to, you know, seek help, no matter what, friends, family. Uh, someone that will listen to you that probably been in a situation. If you guys want to talk about certain mental illness and stuff that you guys struggle, we'll 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 spot. We'll talk to you. I know. Yeah, also some bad decisions. I remember my dad, really abusive. And Sam, really abusive. Have said, I'm Sam. Everybody. You should just listen everybody. to us and not to the dad. And uh, after six months later, break up again. Over there and kill him. No, you're not going to do no such thing. I will go find We We already, my mom and us, we told him, is whatever happens, it's your fault. We did spend Christmas three times. with us. What, mom's house? Yeah, he was there. I thought my mom would ban him. He picked me up from the airport. Uh, uh. Yes. But yeah, you know, every relationship is different. You want to be good to your wife as much as possible. Probably you want to spoil her as well. It is worth it for you to oh, you know, stay, spoils. stay, stay with me. Spoils. Um, do not threaten, you know, argue, every relationship, you're going to have an argument no matter what. But, no one gets along ever. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. Perfect. If you see a relationship, like your friends, anything, also perfect. They're hiding something. Yeah. Um, There's but no perfect relationship. No, it's life. You know, if it happens, it happens. We argue. Not every day. We argue. Little bit of. Not really. At least. Hello. We have our. We have our arguments, but that's not. Most of them are stupid things. We don't fight. Like, we just have our little bit of. This. Like we fight over like who would, sibling kind yeah. of thing. Like we fight over who does dishes and stuff, but that's I think it's normal. You've been in this computer room too long. Come out and be with me. Leave me alone, fat ass. No, you're the fat ass. But yeah, but if you are experiencing depression, anxiety, seek help. Talk to someone that you can trust. You know, a lot of times. This is not abuse right here. This is from. Yeah, we watched the cats today. Um, 
it, it's one of those things that you're gonna have to struggle. It's it's a commitment. You know, if you're if you're gonna be in a marriage or be in a relationship, it's a commitment. So if you, you feel like you don't want to be with him, get out of it. Not cheat. Cheating is wrong. I mean, you can cheat. <laughs> No, I, if she cheats, I'm going to kind of guy and mutilate his body. First cut off the stick, then she took it and shove it down his throat, then mutilate his body. I ass, a sword and up his ass. See how it feels. Doesn't seem like I know. But yeah, um, yeah, it's one of those things that you're going to have to... This is uh, my dream guy. Let me see. <laughs> no, that, that's a dream. See, if, if it's not realistic. We're not talking about something serious and you want to make something fun about it. I like it. Yeah, she, she will talk about it when it's time, but it's none of anyone's business. But if you do, seek help. Talk to someone. You want to talk to me about it? You can private message me on Facebook. I don't want to pick what happened. Yeah. So. so no one's gonna. But you already have police report, don't you? So a police report. So you can uh, kind of lie. You did. Uh, so yeah, basically. Um, this is part of the video. Leave the comment. Uh, please subscribe and like, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Of if you had this situation before, and if you want to live it out, let me know. If you want to seek help and want me to talk more about it with you privately, Facebook message me on the group page, and I will talk to you all later.